Met a local subscriber today. She was nervous. Walk with me. Just cracking with a family. It's your boy, Aunt Diesel. What up? I was out and about today running errands on Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day to everybody who has served or is currently serving in our American Armed Forces. I was out running errands and I stopped in a grocery store. So I'm walking up this aisle and I see somebody, you know, while I'm minding my own business. And I noticed at the corner of my eye, somebody was staring me down something serious. I'm like, damn, I know my swag is up there, but Damn, if you take a picture, it'll last longer, you feel me? So I go further down the aisle, make eye contact with this lady. She was like, Aunt Diesel? And right there, I was like, oh shit, she's seen my video. I was like, hey, how, how, how'd you know? And she was like, yeah, I'm a subscriber and I watch all your videos. You're a very intelligent man. And I was like, okay, you know, I, I was gassed up. I ain't even gonna lie to you. So when I went out to shake my hand, you know, she kind of, you know, had a little shaky hands cracking off. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe it's like a, you know, an ailment. I was like, you all right? So she was like, I'm kind of nervous. And I'm like, why the hell are you nervous? I'm not a celebrity or none of that shit. And she was like, no, I'm afraid of guns. She shouldn't have said that because I don't even like talking to my friends when I see them in the store. If I see somebody I know that talk too damn much, I'm gonna go down the other aisle. Damn, I ain't even supposed to be in the baby aisle. I ain't got no damn babies, but you know what? To avoid that conversation, I'm gonna dip off into this aisle. So me and her, we sat there and we I conversated with her for a little bit. She was a white lady, by the way, just to add context to, to, the, to the story. I'm like, yeah, what you nervous about? And she was like, you're a big black dude with a gun. My, my blood pressure went a little up because you know, it was like, Damn, would have been different if I was a white man with a gun. But I didn't say that because I'm like, okay, you know, this is an opening for conversation. So I asked her, hey, so uh, what's the problem with that? And she said, I know you have a gun on you right now because I watch all your videos. I don't want anything to get misconstrued. Oh, so you think I'm a sensitive black man? And she was like, I don't know what you mean by that. You don't want to say anything wrong or have me looking at you any kind of sideways because you think I'm going to shoot you out of being a sensitive bitch. I didn't say the bitch, I said bitch, but I didn't say it with the extra emphasis like I just did. And she was like, yeah, listen here. I am a law abiding citizen. I have kids, I have a wife. I cannot afford to go to prison forever off of being a sensitive bitch. She was like, damn, that makes sense. And I said, look, if anything, you should feel a little bit safer in this aisle with me right now. Because if shots rang out on that side of the store, you know that you're with somebody who was going to protect you like I'm gonna protect me. She was like, I never even thought of it that way. I've never shot a gun. I've never done anything with guns. I've, you know, my dad was into guns, but I never got to shoot him. I never, in, in my head, I wanted to invite her to the range but as you know, it's winter time out here. Range time just ain't gonna happen right now. We're getting snow like crazy right now, it's crazy. I wanted to invite her to the range and let her shoot some of my firearms just to be a little more comfortable around people with firearms. If I walked in with a hoodie up, bandana on, pants hanging all off my ass, you have every right to stereotype me because I stereotype people myself. It's just natural human instinct. I was afraid of damn Arabians for shit. Probably about three, four years after the whole 9-11 thing went down. Every time I walked around, I'm like, grip up. Oh shit, okay, got this, you know. But it is what it is. I was stereotyped and I had to explain to her that not every black man with a gun is aggressive or a sensitive bitch. You know, I told her, hey, you know, Get out there with your husband, boyfriend, friend. Get out there to the range, shoot a couple guns, get comfortable with it, and then your fear of guns will completely disappear. So after we had our conversation and everything, I was like, hey, you have a nice day. 
you know, glad to meet you. Glad you're subscribed to the channel. Video's coming soon. I'm going to throw a shout out to you, even though I didn't get her name, because again, I don't mind people's business, but shout out to you. What's happening? Appreciate your time. Get to the range, fire off a few guns, get those nervous jitters out the way, and be easy. But when I went in to shake her hand the second time, have a nice day, firm handshake. She enjoyed the conversation. I enjoyed the conversation because it gave me a chance to advocate for firearms ownership and to let her know I'm black, but I'm not a nigga. I have nigga moments. Everybody does. Black people, white people, Spanish people, Asian people. Everybody got a little nigga in them because nigga just means ignorant. Doesn't have a color attached to it, although that's what we'd like to think. I let her know that. She walked away happy and I met a subscriber. So that was a, a pretty good experience. I got to do what I do in real life not just in front of a camera. So now she knows I am tank built and I'm real and everything I say, I live by. So y'all be easy, I appreciate y'all watching. Stop playing with me and give me one of these. Don't study my moves, just check my footwork. Peace.